Today we're going to look at how to delete WordPress databases. Many times on our hosting, we will install domains and websites that we don't use any longer. So even though we might go to file manager and delete folders, in actual fact, the databases still remain. So in this video, we're going to have a look at how to delete the database. In addition to deleting folders in file manager, we'll also need to use two more items in control panel. Those are PHP my admin to identify the name of the database we're looking for and then my SQL databases to actually delete the database. To begin, let's find the website that we want to delete in file manager. So we're going to scroll down. We're in control panel. We're going to scroll down to files and we click here on file manager. Once in file manager, we're going to find the public HTML folder where all of our websites are installed. I hope I've got one here called Cheap Easy Recipes um, that I no longer own. I don't own the domain name anymore. And there wasn't much in it anyway. It was just something I sort of started and then and then didn't bother with. So I want to get rid of that. So I can click here. First of all, I can check it had a WordPress database. If I double click there, we can see the WP admin, the content, etc. So I did install WordPress on here. So let me go up one level back to where I was. So I know that if I delete this, it's not actually going to delete the database. So I'm going to delete that folder because I know I don't want that. So I'll click on delete. Are you certain? Yes. Now, if we come back, the next thing we need to do is to find where that database lives and then delete it. So we need to come down to database tools and we need to select PHP my admin. This will then take us to the PHP my admin page. And as you can see, all the databases on the left here, I've got nonsensical names and there are some that have changed the name, but in general, they're just not really going to be useful or they're just not making any sense. So you may have to go through them to find what you're looking for. As you're going through, if you click on the name on the left here, now you can see it's open the database. You can click on options. And here we can see what the name of the website where the database is installed is on. So the one I actually want is over here. So we're going to wait for that to load. Come over to options. And there it is. So you can see that although I deleted the folders in file manager, database here still exists for cheapeasyrecipes.com. So we now know that the name of the database we need to delete is cash on you underscore w o r four. So next my SQL databases. So we click on that one. And we are going to search for W O R four. So I think if I remember last time I looked, it's on about W O R four. Let me check that. Shows us on the left there and also up here. We can see we're in the table. For this database, WOR4 Cheap Easy Recipes. So I'm happy about that. So I can come back over WOR4. I can come over here 
and I can delete the database. Are you sure you wish to permanently remove the database? Yes, I am. So I'm deleting the database. I'll go back. So now I know I've deleted the files in File Manager. I've identified the database and then come to my SQL databases and deleted the one I wanted. Now I want you to know that during this whole process, things can go wrong. It's just the way it is. They're all problems that can be sorted out, but I have to say that I came across a couple. Rather than confuse this video and make it not flow nicely, I've done a separate quick video to show you what can happen and what to do about it. So look out for my next video coming out very soon.